Hello, everybody. I am Hereticos. Welcome to the Elite Four of Pokemon Heart Gold. I did a shit ton of training, and I caught rumor of if you go to the Dragon's Den and you swim around, there was a small chance that you could find a Dratini, and I did. And I got it, and it was worse than the fucking Slowpoke. But we did it. Um, so now we have a kind of okay, um, not really okay, but okay. Um, so the red is there, or is the black, is the red or the blue their high stats? I guess it's the blue. So we have a high special attack, uh, Dragonite. So... And then we got Never Melt Ice on our Fur Alligator. And then we have our Amulet Coin on our Scyther. We also leveled everybody up, except for Scyther. So we got Amphro 66, Slowbro 69, Ho-Oh to 72, our Dragonite to 76, and our Fur Alligator to 92. So let's hope that the Elite Four lives to their name. Once you enter this door, you will be facing one, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. Here we go. The Elite Four. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Oh boy. Alright, and our first elite battle is Will. Five Pokemon. Axu. Oh, they're only level 40? I got this. They're moderately tanky. Confuse Ray. Now that's not nice. This is gonna be some troublesome issues going on. Come on, land it. Yeah! There we go. Get some delicious tea and celebration. Celebration! Jinx. I guess this would be a good time to throw out Dragonite. I'm gonna try to hold on to Feraligator until we're actually on the last person. Let's see, Dragon Pulse. We had the, the TM or HM Dragon Pulse, so I taught it to Dratini really early on to try to train it. And it worked out, so... Very nice. This might just be a sweep. We're gonna keep battling, because if I'm not mistaken, that's a grass type. Huh, kinda sounds like Jinx. Very nice. That was super effective. Dragonite for the win. We're not going to get cocky yet, because we still have a chance to go downhill. Slowbro is going to be tanky. Let's Dragon Pulse. There we go. Alright, and that's a level up. 77. At that duel. Alright. I'll take your word for it. That never giving up is what makes a psychic unpredictable. But this is the house of hosts. And we don't believe in failure. The unpredictability is the ability of a crit. 
We defeated Elite Four Will. I I can't believe it. We got 1080 for winning. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Oh. I see. This seems like it's going to be a ghost type room. We'll probably want to switch Slowbro up front. That Psychic will be good. <laughs> I'm Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows and ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall soon see it enough. Alright. Hereticos versus Koga of the Elite Four. Koga starts off with an Ariados. We start off with a Slowbro. He does have a slight type advantage. But luckily we got speed and strength. Luckily, Psychic is all but too powerful for the mighty Ariados. It falls to Slowbro. Koga is about to send in a fortress. Fortress. Fort. Fortress. 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 That's. He's about to throw out another Pokemon and a tanky one at that. He's about to send this crustacean to the ground, back to the depths where it came from. Confused it with the water pulse. It became confused. It's suffering confusion, but it uses its swift. Slowbro takes some damage here. Barely phased by the damage. Koga used a full restore. That'll remove the confusion from the fortress. The headbutt, not very effective in any manner. Going in for another water pulse. It connects. It hits. Big damage done, leaving it with nearly nothing as it throws toxic spikes. That's going to make it impossible to switch out without being poisoned. Now there's going to be a decision to make as Slowbro pulls out a Psychic. It wasn't very effective, but it was enough to drop. He's about to throw out a Muck, so it looks like Slowbro is going to have to sustain the rest of this battle unless one of them wants to get poisoned. Looks like the Psychic is going to be put forward again. It connects. Big damage. Will the Muck survive the entire Psychic damage amount? It does not. It is super effective. The Muck goes down in just one shot. Koga throws out a Crobat. Slowbro only suffering the damage from that Swift earlier. But it looks like he's doing a good job at Swifting this entire team. Crobat's going to use a double team to raise its evasiveness. Will it work? He knows that Psychic's coming. It connects. Big damage. Will it be strong enough to tank the Psychic? It is not. It is super effective. It goes down being one shot like the Muck. Koga's about to throw out a Venomoth. This just might be what he needs. Speed will be on his side. One Pokemon left? Ha ha ha. I've been counting on this one from the very beginning. Looks like he's going to try to use the Venomoth to perform a sweep. Venomoth used Psychic on the Slowbro. Doing damage, but not very effective. Slowbro pays the respect back and slams it with a Psychic back. Big damage. Big talk. No game. It's super effective. One-shotting it. And the competition. Slowbro gained to the next level. We defeated Elite Four Koga. Ah, you have proven your worth. Thanks, Koga. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Sweet. It 
looks like this is going to be some kind of fire ground, so Slowbro could take it from here. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to, ex to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Chaotic? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hooah! Chaotic versus Bruno of the Elite Four. Bruno throws out a hit Montal. We start off with the slow grow from last time, still damaged. After careful thought, it looks like it's going to be a Zen headbutt to consume on watching all those psychics. Big damage. Does it one shot? It does. It is super effective. Hitmonchan will be up next, and it looks like the slow bro is going to sit around for a while. Looks like there's going to be a thunder punch. Direct hit to the slow bro. Big damage. Super effective. The paralysis kicks in. Slowbro is paralyzed. They cannot move this turn. It's getting good, folks. He has speed. He has the thunder punches. Slowbro's taking damage. The paralysis does not kick in, and the Zed headbutt connects. Big damage from being typed. And it's enough to shatter. Hitmonchan is down. Slowbro still stands. Bruno's about to throw in an Onyx, but it looks like Slowbro's here to stay. Looks like that type matchup. He's going to use a Sandstorm to try to get debuffing on. Slowbro's going to use the Water Pulse. The Paralyze does not work, and it's big trouble for the Onyx. The Onyx goes down with one Water Pulse. Sounds really dramatic. The Sandstorm continues, and it looks like Slowbro is about to get buffed. Looks like Bruno's throwing out a Machamp. Looks like his pride Pokemon's on the line. We have a speed advantage with Slowbro, and the Zen Headbutt goes to connect. Does it withstand the amount of power from the Zen Headbutt? It does not. It is super effective, and the Pokemon goes down with that Paralyze just lingering. When will it activate again? The Sandstorm's gonna buff our Slowbro, making it take a little bit of damage. Hitmonlee is the last Pokemon on deck, and Slowbro is not having any of it. Fight as hard as you can till you faint. The Hitmonlee used the High Jump Kick. Not very effective against the Slowbro. Slowbro goes to use Zen Headbutt and the Paralyze is just not there. No chance of this one without that Paralyze. Super effective and he drops. Bruno is defeated. Why? How could we lose? Chaotic got rewarded for winning. <sighs> Having lost... I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Alright. Well. Ho oh time. I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're chaotic. How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overwhelming tactics. Power? Think you could take him? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. And the battle begins. Chaotic versus Karen. Challenged by the Elite Four, Karen, they throw out an Umbreon. We let we throw out and let's go, Ho Ho. Ho Ho exerts its natural pressure. It seems like psychic types are gonna have an issue here, so. Having increased Sacred Fire, that's going to be the goal in this one. Sacred Fire against the Umbreon. 
Is it enough to burn out the competition? It is. The Umbreon goes down without using a muscle. Karen's about to throw out a Murkrow. The Murkrow stands in defiance. Looks like it's only going to be another Sacred Fire from here. Need we even worry about the KD right now? The Murkrow's down. And Ho-Oh still flies victorious. Ho-Oh getting some decent XP and leveling up. Boosted stats galore. Next up, Houndoom. It looks like a fire type isn't going to be good against another fire type here, so we're going to have to switch it up. Looks like that ancient power picked up through training is going to pay off. Big damage, but is it enough damage? Not enough damage, though it becomes super. Held item on Houndoom kicks in, regenerating its HP through a citrus berry. The Houndoom performs a nasty plot. Raising its special attack. Luckily, we have the speed advantage, and this ancient power doesn't pack lightly. The Houndoom is down through another super effective move. Karen with the misplay of not using that full restore when possible. They're about to release a Gengar. The only opportunity through this would be the Sacred Fire. Back to old tactics, and a hot one at that. The Gengar cannot take the heat and gets out of the kitchen. This is ho oh show now. Veloplume enters the floor. A bad matchup for the enemy. This is far from being backed into a corner. It's far from the corner because it's mopped. The amount of fire packed within such a condensed ability is enough to one-shot the Eternals. The super effectiveness shows its worth. Veloplume is no longer standing. ho oh, oh, reigns supreme. We have defeated Elite Four Karen. Was rewarded money for winning. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on, the champ is waiting. This is it, folks. The entire team still stands, and the champion's all that stands between us and victory. With her alligator by our side, the beginning, the end, and the now. This is now. I've been waiting for you. Chaotic, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. The ultimate showdown begins. Lance, the champion, versus Aeotic. He starts off with a Gyarados. That Intimidate will lower our attack, but it doesn't gonna seem like it's gonna phase us. The Feraligator lets out a mighty crunch to start, chunking down the competition. The Gyarados lives and releases a mighty Dragon Pulse. For Alligator not being phased by too much damage from it, goes in for the second crunch to finish the job. Gyarados is out. This looks like another clean sweep. Lance is about to throw a Dragonite. The Dragonite stands. For Alligator goes with the Ice Fang, brought by the Never Melt Ice to buff its power, with an advantage of a super effective move. The Dragonite cannot withstand this duo combo of doom. The Dragonite is fainted. For Alligator gains more XP, 
and levels up, closing the gap of victory for Lance now. Another Dragonite will enter the fray. Another Ice Fang will be put into match. Will this Dragonite endure, or will it fall like the last? It looks like no Dragonite in sight will be able to close this gap between Feraligator and Victory. Champion Lance is going to throw out an Aerodactyl. Switching up types may be the best course of action, but nonetheless, still a flying and rock type. Looks like we're going to switch into a Hydro Pump, increasing maximum velocity. Super effective typing. The only victory is the one that we forge ourselves. Flood out the competition and freeze those who can't try. Another Dragonite after the third one. Third dra Dragonite in a row. This one seems to be level 50 and looks slightly more important. Will that one level count? Will that one level tank? The idea of the Ice Fang with the Never Melt Ice. It does not. The super effective combo crushes the competition again. For Alligator just mopping it. Champion Lance threw out a starter Pokemon, Charizard. Alright, I thought this would never happen. A matchup of the century, a for Alligator versus the Charizard. For Alligator has a speed advantage versus the Charizard and uses the Hydro Pump. A special advantage typing with a net boost of its own type. Super effective and the Charizard is extinguished. For Alligator gained its experience from the battle and the champion is no longer. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Chaotic got 10k for winning. And that does it, folks. Her Chaotic, champion of Pokemon. A clean sweep. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Chaotic. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Oh no, it's all over, Professor Oak. If you weren't so slow. Ah, Aotic, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they preserved. Persevered? Congratulations, Aotic. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting a bit too noisy. Could, hey, Aotic, could you come with me? Yeah, let's get her. Bye. Oh, wait. I haven't done the interview. Close the gate. It's been a long time since I last came here. What is it? This is where we commemorate the, the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the makings of the greatness. Chaotic, allow me to register you and your Pokemon partners as champions. And just like that, for alligator in the Hall of Fame, 93, met at New Bark Town. Alrighty, everybody. I am Hereticos. This has been Pokemon Heart Gold, and I will see you 
in the next episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future uploads, and I will see you next time. Peace!